So we will be seeing about the poem Red Fox written by Margaret Atwood and we saw that Atwood is a person who's written numerous collection of poetry and her poems are filled with nature images, animal imagery and the novels you know, like The Handmaid Tale and Oxen Curriculum and many other works are filled with contemporary themes of upper class uh, and many other like women's subjugation are in line with the way Margaret Atwood is writing and the poem we have Red Fox is in line with political activism. It's the first uh, inference that we can make from the poem is about the political activism that is uh, depicted. Uh, the third stanza brings in like onion of layers which tells about how hunger is leading to corruption and the vice versa happens when you can uh, deconstruct the corruption aspect it's because of the hunger that is prevalent or because of the greediness a society or a, a person in the society functions in this regard uh, so has to uh, survive so the political activism, she was awarded in 2016 for her political activism in her life has elicited work. And uh, this poem talks about the main aspect of poverty. And the second uh, point which I mentioned is the views on poverty. Her views on poverty, she's bringing in the picture of a mother and she says, oh yeah, the fox is there. To, uh, has a person uh, dressed up in an elegant scoundrel manner within her court but when it's going to be poverty even the mother will leave the child like how uh, Hansel and Gretel are dumped in the forest similarly the motherhood too will uh, leave the uh, leave the child in regard to poverty when it affects a person. So political activism is the first point that we see, the, la the onion layers which are inherent and uh, Arthur is known for depicting powerful lines and the lines like her white knife of a smile. So, uh, and even words like hunger corrupts and absolute hunger corrupts absolutely. So uh, how the image and the uh, paraphrase of that can be in, uh, inclined to political activism is of a great impact. And uh, poverty is the second point that we discussed. It tells about how the elite class will survive, but if it's going to be poverty and you can find every other readiness inclined, then the society will be corrupted. You can find in every level that there's going to be a baby of any form of bribery or any other form of corrupt wild nature in people. And the third point that we're seeing is the, hypocr the hypocrisy of the society. A fox is said from our childhood that it is filled with wild nature, it is very rascal in nature, it's very scoundrel. But uh, the hypocrisy of the society, uh, every, other every other person who's up to the ladder, who's out into the society, maybe through buffering or through any other means which will uh, take them to up to the limelight. So the hypocrisy of the society is too depicted in the fourth and fifth stanza of the poem. Next is about the animal imagery. The entire poem is in line with the animal imagery of a fox, the nature and characteristics of a fox and the justification of their nature. It is killed in Lying. That's the line that we get from the second stanza. It is killed in lying. So uh, why it is so? Because it is very, uh, very skinny, it's slender. The ribs of the fox are shown out. And it means that it's very hungry. Maybe it has few people to be uh, fed in the uh, back home. So it, that's why it's there near the pond, looking out for places to uh, uh, slam, I mean, uh, go and pond, I mean, go and uh, plunder and take off the life of a sheep or an animal which is in line. So uh, the nature of uh, the fox, the characteristics of a fox, skilled in lying, uh, skilled in uh, cunning uh, and skilled in depicting things which are not true and uh, many other things uh, told by the poet is in a form of justification in the later part of 
poem saying hey come on every human is of that sort every human that you're going to see on earth will have that smile white knife kind of smile every human is going up to the ladder of survival through this means and why do you want to pinpoint a fox of that uh, to be said to be of that nature is the lines that are uh, put forth in the poem and when it comes to motherhood we find that a mother is a powerful phenomena and a motherhood can make a person go beyond magic can do things for the child can uh, uh, can even um, form the body can even uh, dry up their breast and give out everything to nurture the child but when it is going to be poverty stricken have you not heard the news of the two people put up in the forest so that it can be taken up by someone by goodwill or maybe hunted down as prey so uh, poverty can make a person move into any heights that same image that we get and a selfish greed and reading is another quarter uh, characteristics of a person can make one corrupt and poverty is one thing which has to be looked into is the uh, meaning that we get and next is about the characteristics of the fox and uh, the word rascal scoundrel elegant scoundrel the coat is uh, of an elegant scoundrel so the word elegant and scoundrel are of opposite and how beautifully art brings out say oh my god fox is not so wild but it has an elegant nature it is has it is it is that nature and every other person be it motherhood the powerful a uh, fact every other one uh, operate with the same aspect and uh, the lean wax in so female form wax in means a female fox and how the eyes are depicted has a trickster's eyes so that's beautiful characteristics of a fox that we get from the poem and survival instincts uh, the aspect of uh, surviving in the society is what we see to survive we did all turn thief one strong statement that we get from the poem i repeat to survive we did all turn thief so how every other human can relate to this aspect we it Uh, a student or a teacher anyone uh, how our moral values to attain something sometimes we did forge our moral values so survival aspects survival instincts and the fox is like a kind of justification given saying oh she is there and now she is moving away and she might go go uh, she might uh, go and steal something that doesn't belong to her and maybe some chicken or something more chance like or other life but she's going to do that and that's the aspect of survival that's what every other person is going to do and it's doing and the last is about the socialist perspective that we feel uh, from we get get from the poem the struggle among classes um, the elite or the middle or the upper and the lower middle classes how they struggle struggle to be catered and meet in the society like how the fox is there maybe to collect a prey for the children back home how the survival of people are present even in the contemporary society so it's only one group of people who enjoy the a, a prosperous life but the other clan other group of people who are there still meeting up to the needs of the society filling the basic needs of the children and conquering every other little thing on their way to uh, leading a happy life the struggle between classes and one person does few things out of uh, moral uh, impurity then even that is justified is what we perceive because it's a matter of survival so the socialistic perspective political activism views on poverty animal imagery justification of the wild nature of the fox characteristics of the fox all this are in line with the poem written beautifully by margaret atwood so we come to the end of few inferences that we can perceive from the poem can you put up your uh, perspective in regard to uh, any any other animal image that you come up so the donkey um, or any other animal that a buffalo or any other insect to uh, when laziness and many other things are given to them uh, do you feel that it is not wrong it is uh, it is correct or it is wrong it is 
uh, it should not be said so, then put up in the chat session, which is open now for you in the LMS uh, about your opinion, how animal imagery should be pictured. Maybe the CV is correct, but the other things, is it right or not from your perspective is what you will put up in the chat session now. Thank you.